This is Paul. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just reading this manual on domestic violence. Yes. <laughs> now it says A, the accused's history of response to legal process, particularly court orders to personally appear. Yes. Then the accused employment status and history. Oh. Enrollment in educational institutions or training programs. <laughs> Participating in counseling or treatment programs. Yeah. Performance of volunteer work in the community. Yes. <laughs> Uh, participating in school or cultural activities or receipt of financial assistance from the government. Yes. <laughs> the accused family ties and relationships. The accused relation, uh, reputation, character, mental condition. Yes. <laughs> Length of the accused residence in the community. Poach. <laughs> the accused criminal history. Uh huh. As provided in the court rules and the RCWs. Yes. <laughs> The accused uh, history of domestic violence orders in Washington State. Yeah. The willingness uh, of responsible members of the community to vouch for the accused reliability. Uh. And assist the accused in complying with conditions of release. Poo -choo -choo. The nature of the current charges, uh, if relevant to the risk of non-appearance. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The presence of lethality factors as determined by accepted research and other factors uh, indicating the accused ties to the community. Uh. Now, uh, I realize that when you release me on personal recognizance, uh, after being video arraigned, after being transported across county lines, yes, uh, that as an individual, that my history of legal process, response to legal process, <laughs> let's say you issued a court order in 2011 where you didn't give me any legal process, there was no notice or opportunity to be heard, yes, <laughs> it would look very bad on my part for not... Uh-oh, look at you completely re oh you destroyed my history as the accused. <laughs> now when you reissued that and you gave me 12 hours by minute order to respond, yes. <laughs> this history of uh, response to legal process, pouch, pouch, pow! It seems that the court doesn't really believe that there's an obligation to give uh, notice and opportunity to be heard. Yes. <laughs> Three times uh, in 2011 you had court hearings where I wasn't a resident of the state of Washington. Yes. And then you served me and arrested me at the same moment. Yes. Yes. For violating a protection order that was fraudulent. Yes. <laughs> then you had court hearings where I didn't get notice or opportunity to be heard to respond to legal process. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Makes me look bad, doesn't it? Now, pooch! Big... Now, let's say in 2013, yes, not only did you send it to the wrong address, uh, Camp Kingsway, yes, you did! Not only did you give me uh, the necessary number of days to respond in a dissolution of marriage, because when you really think about it, every time that you did not give me notice and opportunity to be heard, pooch, I should be in jail right now. Yes, he should! Yes, he fucking should! Now, I know... The court says it doesn't fucking matter, okay? The guy's crazy. But I would say that every time you did not give me notice and opportunity to be heard, it makes me look bad. Pooch. Kind of destroys my reputation. Who's to say I wouldn't get arrested today for some other crime? Pow, pow, pow.